after Pakatan Rai politicians, and I won't expect any less of them. MACC took all the files from our Adun officers. Your state assemblymen that you voted in in 2008 went under such scrutiny. They took all the files of their spending, they went through it page by page. They call us for interview for hours and hours. It was until the extent that we lost one of our dear friends, Teo Beng Ho, who suddenly mysteriously fell off the MACC building. That's no laughing matter. But when they went and scrutinized all of this, when they did all these interviews and when they did all these checks, since then, until today, have you seen any of your elected representatives from 2008, since you voted them in, in 2008, your aduns, your MPs that you voted for them, have you seen any of them being charged in court? Have you? No. no not a single one of the Slango aduns that you voted in in 2008, despite extreme scrutiny by MACC, has been charged in court. Now, if I tell you this story two years ago, you say, maybe not yet lah. I collect the information first. I wait for election time, then I charge them in court. Make more sensational news. But now, we are here. Five more days. Five more days to go. And yet, not a single Pakatan Rakyat Assemblyman or MP has been charged in court despite the scrutiny. Tells you something, doesn't it? We believe in a clean government. We walk the talk. And it's time. It is time to save this country from corruption. It is time to fix our quality of life that is being screwed up by corruption. I told you about the MRT story just now. I told you about how expensive our train is. How can other people build 20 kilometers 4 billion? If 20 kilometers 4 billion, you change to 50 kilometers, should be 10 billion. 10 billion ringgit for 50 kilometers. Here, we're talking about 50 billion. So much. It's not talking about a few thousand ringgit, you know. It's not talking about a few million ringgit, you know. We're talking billions here. How can? But that's one angle to it. Maybe this is money you never see, you don't have in your bank account, or you don't feel it. But do you know what you are suffering because of such policies by Barisan National? Don't you know? You know, all of y'all who stay in Petaling Jaya, you have so many LRT stations near your house. Not very far from your house, there will be an LRT station. But you face a very big challenge to use your MRT station. You want to take bus to MRT station. Is it easy or not? No. You want to take bus to MRT station, you maybe have to wait half an hour for the bus. Who got time to wait half an hour for the bus? Even you are sitting in the MRT station, you're waiting for the bus 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Quite normal, right? This is sad. So people cannot take the bus to the MRT station. Okay, cannot take the bus, never mind. Can you drive to the MRT station? Klana Jaya LRT station got parking or not? Don't have. Taman Bahagia, got parking or not? I tell you, I can see the people who stay in SS2 in front of the Taman Bahagia station. All over their housing area, packed with cars of people taking the LRT. Correct or not? Kesian them. No proper parking. You want to build a project, never even think properly. Put the parking lah. Let people drive to the station and go to KL. Simple things. Now, is it so difficult to do these things so that you can use the MRT? I think it's not. Let's look at the buses. Today, you cannot take the bus to the MRT station because the sad fact is our bus system is screwed up. I give you a comparison of Singapore. Singapore is much smaller than the Klang Valley. It is 700 square kilometers compared to our 2,500 square kilometers. Much smaller. It has 5 million people. We have 6 million plus people. 
And Singapore has very good train, very big train. Look at our LRT, our Putra LRT, how small the train is compared to the Singapore MRT, how big the train is. They have better train, they have smaller size, less people, they have 3,200 buses. London, same size as KL, 2,000 plus square kilometer. London, have about the same population as us, 7 million, 7 million plus people, our 6 million plus. London has so many trains, you cannot count. Underground trains, at least 12, overground trains like the KTM, so many, you cannot count. Yet London has 7,500 buses. You know the big red double-decker bus? They got 7,500 buses. This is what first world city has to make public transport work. So you can actually take the bus and go to work. You can actually take the bus and go anywhere and only to sit in traffic jams. Malaysia. If last time we had a little bit of bus, never mind. Last time, in 2009, when this so-called government transformation plan started, 850 buses only. Can you imagine that? 850 buses only. But you know what is even better than that? Under the government's plan, their target, their end goal that they want to reach is 1,450 buses. How can la? 1,450 buses. No wonder you cannot get a bus on time. The bus does not exist. It is so slow to wait for the bus to go one circle and come back. You don't have enough buses.